Hey there, it's Jen. I thought today I would just film a quick, like, it's not a haul video, but like a product, not review, but just opening. Um, I bought this Van Gogh watercolor set. It's the botanical colors, so it has 24 colors. Um, those are the colors. And it comes in this cute little case. I'll show you here. Here is the case. So it's this nice sturdy plastic. It comes with a brush and a, like a little sponge so you can wipe off your brush when you're working. And uh, you can see all of the colors fit in this little palette here. This palette actually comes out too. So let's see, I accidentally took it out when I was playing around with it, but now I can't get it out, of course. But this does come out. Um, and then there's tons of mixing wells here for you to use as well. So I thought I would just give this a try. I saw Irit <laughs> um, using some smaller sets of these and I just wanted to give them a try. So uh, that's what I'm gonna show you real quick. And I went ahead and made myself a color chart because I'm just gonna swatch them. And I made it using the Waffle Flower uh, Make uh, what is this called? Color swatches for watercolors stamp. Um, and I just use the circles here. So I'm just going to swatch the colors here and then play around with them a little bit to see how I like them. All right, so I'm just going to unwrap each one and swatch it. There is a white included in this set, which is, I feel unnecessary, but Malia has been loving doing um, galaxies lately, which you can sprinkle the white over the top for stars. So we'll see how that works, but I don't try that out in this video. Uh, so I'll just tell you the colors as I swatch them out. That first yellow, well, that we, first we have opaque white, then we have permanent lemon yellow, then we have transparent yellow medium, and the one I'm unwrapping now is Indian yellow, which is a nice warm yellow. I like that there are lots of yellows because I find myself using yellow most often, although I don't, I feel like that the permanent lemon yellow and the transparent yellow medium are fairly similar, but it's all good. Uh, I just did pyrrole orange and now I am doing permanent red light, which is another kind of orangey red. And I really love the orangey red colors, especially in my, when I'm painting florals. So it makes sense that they have these in the botanical set. Um, this one is Permanent Red Deep, and then we have Carmine, which is this nice, pretty red color, and then Quinacridone Rose, which is one of my faves, and there are a lot of kind of purpley pink colors in this set, which I love. I love those colors for everything, but of, of course, I love them for florals. So after quinacridone rose, we have this permanent red violet, which is what I'm doing now. And then I'm going to get to a permanent blue violet, which is what I'm doing now. A gorgeous color. I love that there's so many purples. Um, I wish that there were less browns, but I guess that you kind of do need that for if you're doing um, like tree trunks or stems or stuff like that. The one that I just swatched was quinacridone purple red, and now I'm doing quinacridone purple blue. Both amazing. I love the purple red especially. And then we have, we're getting into the blues now. So we have ultra, ultra marine deep, and then cerulean blue phthalo is what I'm about to swatch now, a nice turquoise color. It's semi-opaque. Most of these are pretty transparent though. Um, I don't know like, the real details about watercolors and like I'm, I'm not like super up on all of the watercolor lingo but I just know what I know <laughs> and I like these pretty well. So I've had some Van Gogh watercolors that I've gotten in the past uh, in tubes but I really like these ones in the pans. Uh, they re-wet really easily so. Okay so after the cerulean uh, blue phthalo we have Prussian blue, hooker green deep. Um, I just did sap green and now we're doing azo green yellow which is kind of like a poopy color but i really love it <laughs> it's baby poop colored um now we have raw sienna and i'm about to swatch burnt sienna which i actually really like because it's kind of like a rusty orange and i use it in the florals that i paint after i swatch um by the way i am using some b 
paper, some B watercolor paper. It's 100% cotton and really inexpensive. I'll link to everything I used in the video description. I also forgot to mention that I am using my um, Escoda Perla brush here to swatch, but after I'm done, I'm going to use the brush that came in the set to do these uh, swat or to do these florals. Um, I didn't mention those last few colors were burnt sienna, burnt umber, Van Dyke brown, and neutral tint, which I love that they included. So this brush has pretty good like bend and snap. I like a good snap on my brush. Like um, that means just when you bend it down, it pops back to its shape. When I'm painting florals, uh, I don't. It's like a little bit more stiff, and um, it's it's not quite as as good as the Escoda brush I was using before, but I wanted to try using it for this little floral arrangement that I'm painting here. So I'm just painting some petals using mostly um, the purples and pinks because I love them. And just, you can see I'm pushing down on the brush and then lifting up. That's how you create that kind of um, it, small, big, small. You just put it on the tip of your brush and then you push down on the belly of the brush so you're getting the whole side of the brush and then you lift up again. And I do the leaves the same way. So I'm really out of practice in painting florals and so this is not like the best thing that you ever saw, <laughs> just to be aware. So I really like having mixing greens when I'm doing uh, floral arrangements. So right now I'm kind of using it's kind of sap green, but I've added a little bit of yellow to it. And now before the flowers dry completely, I'm adding a little bit of neutral tint to the purpley pink mixture just to do some flower centers. And then, um, sorry, I'm, I've cut off a little bit. I wanted to zoom in so you could see what I was doing. Uh, so you can't see the whole palette, but I just was, uh, mixing the yellows with a little bit of orange to create these little flowers here and I'm using a darker mixture for the uh, leaves on this one and the and the petals and then I decided to just while it was still wet add in a little pop of that kind of orange color at the bottom of those and now I'm going to add in some just little kind of leaf sprigs here. The greens are looking pretty much the same right now. I don't know. <laughs> um, I will diversify them <laughs> before I'm done, but I wasn't super thrilled with the way this came out, but it was good exercise just to play with the watercolors and get a feel for how they uh, work and interact with the paper and that kind of thing. So, you know, play with and practice when you have your new watercolors, even if you don't like what you end up with, which I didn't. <laughs> so it's all good. So you can see I'm adding in some more uh, like greeny colors here. Uh, they're more blue green, those larger leaves. And I just, again, I'm just kind of playing to see how the watercolors interact. I feel like the colors flow nicely. I, I don't know. I was happy with them with this little exercise that I played with. So I decided to add in some kind of bluish purple little, uh, berries. And so that's what I'm doing here. And they kind of, everything kind of bled out a little bit because I was too impatient to let things dry. But I'm just uh, painting the word flowers now. I wanted to try some hand lettering with it. And then I will like splatter some color on and I really love the way that looks. And it kind of melds into the flowers. You'll see in the close up photo here at the end. But um, overall, I really like these watercolors. I definitely recommend them. There's lots of different sets that you could check out. I'll link to all of the products that I used today in the video description if you're interested. And here are other a couple other videos that you might enjoy where I'm playing with some different artsy products. So thanks so much for watching and I hope that you'll come by again soon.